This is part B of this lecture. Okay. It's about how Wallace Broker discovered the Great Ocean Conveyor Belt. How was it discovered? So Broker, he is a marine chemist. Okay. He was interested in the chemistry, interested in the global distribution of chemical properties in the ocean. Okay, and he looked at maps like this. So what he looked at is at a, at a depth of 4,000 meters, he collected all the available data. Yeah, this is the silicate, dissolved silicate distribution. And he plotted the distributions. Okay, and let's have a look at it. So if you cut through the oceans at 4,000 meter depth, you can identify the Arctic Ocean through its pronounced mid-ocean ridge system. So you're on the left-hand side. Oop, let's activate the mouse. Mouse is activated. On the left-hand side, this is the uh, how the uh, Atlantic Ocean looks like at a depth level of 4,000 meters. Next to it is the Indian Ocean. You can identify here. It has a number of deep basins, yeah, which are deeper than 4,000 meters. And then in the Pacific Ocean, there are only a few rich systems. You know, you learned that in your in your first uh, assignment. Okay, it only looks like a very very deep basin from this from this perspective. It has many sea mounts and stuff like this. But anyway, let's have a look at the structure. How does silicate look like the concentration? Okay, it's a micromoles per kilogram. So if you look at the numbers here, you can see the lowest numbers are in the North Atlantic, 20. Then it increases as you go to the South Atlantic. You have a 60 on one side, 100 on the other side. And then it increases further as you go through the Indian Ocean, 120. And then you reach 160 as you reach the North Pacific. Why? How does this work? This is what Wallace thought about. How does it work? How can it change? And why is there a consistent pattern? Okay. Let's have a look at the next distribution. Let's see how, how what comes next. Oxygen. Okay, let's have a look at the oxygen distribution, dissolved oxygen distribution at 4,000 meters. All right. Let's have a look at the numbers. Yeah, so let's have a look at the numbers. Where do you get the highest numbers? Yeah, okay, 260 in the North Atlantic, the 4,000 meters, relatively high. The units here are micromoles per kilogram. You know, if you, you might have to, if you want to convert. Anyway, it's only about comparing. You can convert it into different units, but the highest. And then uh, numbers matter here, the comparison. You get lower oxygen concentrations in the South Atlantic. Then you get a little increase as you go towards Antarctica here, lower in the Indian Ocean, and the lowest you get in the North Pacific. Oxygen, dissolved oxygen. Why, how does this work? Okay, so now Broker came up with a solution. And that's now discussed on the discussed now on the next slides, the solution of this problem. Maybe you have an idea already. Maybe you could solve this problem. Yeah, that's not that long ago. It's not that long ago. It's something like 40 years ago. So maybe you can you you could have been the person actually discovering the deep circulation in the ocean. 